It's the amount of power you're drawing. Yes. That's what's more critical. Exactly. It's not so much the device itself, but every time you do one of these Gemini queries, yes. like GPT, yes. you are burning a lot of electricity. And this is why I'm concerned about uranium. I think uranium is seen as the power play of choice. But I would caution people on uranium because I was told by people in the business a long time ago, by the way, if the price goes high enough, there's plenty of it around. There's no shortage of uranium, there's masses of it. It's not rare, it's not scarce. It's rather like coal, there's masses of coal. Trump is not an environmentalist, he's not. He has always said, by us not using coal, we give China an advantage because, hey, they use coal. And by the way, emissions don't just sit over one country, by the way. You know, so there's not much point in you turning off your coal if your neighbor's burning it. There's no difference. Mm. So I think if we have a power crunch, which California is the first to show this, they were actually talking about it, uranium, it takes too long to get there. For all the nuclear plants you want to bring on, we're not going to have that power for five to 10 years. What are you going to do? I want this AI. I want, I want to use chat GPT mm. tomorrow, mm. today. You can't just flick it on. No. The fastest thing, if you want more power in a hurry, it's coal. He's never been anti-coal, right? Never anti-coal at all or natural gas. So I think, and coal's on it, you know, nobody wants coal. So I think that could be a bit of a contrarian buy.